Being a photographer is 50% skill and 50% luck. You have to be ready to seize an opportunity presented to you in a quick, concise, charismatic way. The only way to get there is hard work and diligence. So if you're a beginner and you want to take photography seriously, follow these five tips and you'll be on your way to your dream job in no time. Hey guys, my name's Corey Vanderplu at Corey Photo on Instagram and Twitter. Let's jump right in. What kind of camera? It doesn't really matter the type of camera you have, but if you're planning on making this hobby into a career, your camera will have to shoot raw. This camera is only 400 bucks, and this camera is about 3,500. And if used correctly, they pretty much shoot the same image. But the question is, who are you handing the finished images over to? Is it your friend's mom who just got a new pet? If so, the smaller file will do. But if it's for a magazine for a commercial client, then you'll need the biggest file you can get. Shooting raw also opens up a whole other world of post-production that you'll see later in this video. The key is, start simple and work your way up. For a complete comprehensive guide on what camera to buy on any budget, just check the link in the description. Know your history. What kinds of photography do you like? Who was the best to ever do it in that field? If it's portrait, it's someone like Yusuf Karsh. If it's fashion, it's probably someone like Helmut Newton. If it's documentary, Maybe it's someone like Dorothy Lange. History is important because it allows us to understand our past, which in turn allows us to understand our present. Studying history can provide us with insight into our chosen field as well as the culture in which we might be less familiar, thereby increasing cross-cultural awareness and understanding. Simply knowing the greats and seeing their photographs will make you have a better eye and a better understanding. Practice and study. If you wanna be serious about this, then you have to do the work. This is how many shoots I did in 2016. It's about 150. That's just over 40% of the year. You have to put the work in. Shoot every day so your camera is an extension of you and no longer a distraction. A great trick I would do every day was waking up and picking up my camera and looking at different parts of the room, like a window, a corner, or a ceiling, anywhere really with a different exposure, and just try to nail the perfect settings first try. You'd be surprised how good you get in just a couple weeks. So get creative, but shoot constantly. Other things you can do are assist other photographers, be a production assistant, work on film sets, just be around it and be in it. Learn to retouch. Retouching is so, so, so important. Every great photographer has manipulated their photos in some way, whether it's through the dark room or through Photoshop. Being able to simplify an image, tweak and adjust distractions, and really give the image your own visual signature is extremely important. To learn how to deal with raw files and finished files, check out this video and make your photos better using those raw files. Shoot, shoot, and more shooting. Practice more. I promise you, you aren't doing it enough. Shoot as many people or as often as you can. Friends, family, artists, people on the street, people in the social media, a park, historical site, anyone and anything. Once you're in the groove of shooting, ideas will come and your muse will speak to you. You have to be in the mindset of working every day to open up new ideas and new concepts. And I promise you, if you've done all of these things, then there's a great chance that you're on your way to a career in photography. So keep shooting, you're almost there. Thanks guys, my name is Corey Vanderplu at Corey Photo on Twitter and Instagram. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Happy shooting.